Yo, what's going on guys? Luke Callahan of the Disc Golf Kid here. Welcome to 2021. I'm sure, like me, you're glad last year's over, but I realized I haven't done it in the bag in almost a year, and I get comments on every video asking me to do one, and I keep saying I'll do one soon. But today is finally the day, so I have a lot of discs here. I'm gonna show you my main bag, and then a lot of my backups that rotate in and out of the bag, depending on which course, if I lose a disc. But just want to be crystal clear up front. I tried to do this in all my in the bags. I throw pretty far compared to the average person. So I'm going to tell you how far I throw each disc. So you can kind of get an idea on if that disc would work for you. If you're actually looking on getting new discs. But without further ado, we're going to jump right into it with my putting putters. Um, a lot of you know I've putted with the challengers for quite some time now used to putt with Jawbreaker and recently switched as of a couple months ago to the Reed Frescura CT Challengers. I love these, they come in my hand really clean. Um, a lot of you know I'm not great at putting, but these ones do it better than any other ones that I've tried. Um, I know Nolan also putts with these. Um, a lot of guys like them, so if you're liking the Challenger, and want a little stiffer plastic, make sure to check out the CT Challengers. Next up, I throw the Challenger as well. I only have one, this Jawbreaker Challenger. It's the flippiest putter in my bag right now, so I use it for lots of touch up shots and hyzer flip turns, anything like that, get out of jail, anything like that. I also bag two Lunas. I bag a Crystal Luna, which I've had in the bag for a, almost a year and a half. And I also bag a Tour Series Luna. The Crystal Luna has so much glide and it just goes dead straight for so long. All of my friends are jealous of this one. And then I also have the Tour Series Luna, which glides pretty far as well, but it's way more of a stable. Not way more, but I'll throw this one hard and flat and it'll go dead straight, won't turn, but it'll definitely fade at the end. And if I put it on hyzer, it'll definitely fade. So I also love this one, more controllable in wind. Next up, my zones. One of my favorite discs in my bag. Got the DGK stamped zone that I actually aced with today. Um, aced hole number four at Cedar Hills with this guy. This one is pretty overstable. It's been in the bag for a while, but still has that finish right at the end every time if I'm flicking, which normally I flick my zones. Back in, it's always gonna finish left. Love this guy. And then I also have my Austin Turner stamped jawbreaker zone, which is dead straight. I use this for most of my straight forehand approaches or if I need an upshot to stick. Um, still pretty overstable um, if I throw it soft, but if I rip this one hard, it might even turn a little bit, but it's gonna finish pretty flat. Jump right into mid-ranges. I carry five mid-ranges. I have one Buzz SS in my bag. Um, a lot of guys like the Comet, a lot of guys like the Meteor. I like the Buzz SS, it flies really well for me. But this is a nice hyzer flip to turn, flip flat to turn, hyzer flip to flat, hyzer flip to hyzer. You can do so much with a flippy disc. Um, just realized I wasn't telling you how far I throw my putters, but I throw my putters about three, anywhere from obviously outside of putting range to 330 if I rip a Crystal Luna. Um, so if I throw this buzz right, depending on how I throw it, it'll go around 350 feet, 340 feet maybe. Um, but yeah, I really recommend getting a buzz SS. It feels really great in my hand. Next up, I have three regular buzzes. I can throw these anywhere from 300 if I want to kind of finesse one to 360 feet. This one has been in my bag the longest. It is the flippiest. And this one, if I throw it flat, it'll turn a little bit and probably just land flat. If I put it on hyzer, it'll pop up and just go dead straight. Hyzer flip to hyzer, all sorts of stuff like that. This one, I just put in the bag as of like a week ago. I've only played like two rounds with it, but it's pretty dead straight actually, right out of the box, just dead straight. And then last up, got the DGK Buzz. Um, this is the last DGK Buzz I have because I threw my other one in the water, but pretty stable. I'm pretty sure most of DGK buzz Buzzes came out pretty stable, um, but this one is always going to finish left, and that's why I love it. And then last up, I have my Malta. 
Um, everyone needs something like that in their bag, a mid-range that they just know is going to finish left every time. I never forehand in this disc, ever. Always going to be a backhand, and this saves me lots of strokes. Fairway drivers. Start out with my favorite fairway driver, the Raptor. Nolan. Raptors are better than machetes. Start out with my flippiest. I have this 2019 Tour Series Paul Ulibarri Raptor. I've aced, I think, three times with this disc. This one is my money disc. If I had to keep one disc in my bag and torch the rest of them, I'd keep this one. I can throw this backhand, hyzer flip to hyzer forehand, just dead flat, and then it'll hyzer out at the end. I love this thing so much. I would probably actually shed tears the day I lose this. Um, so hopefully that doesn't have to happen. Next up I have the 2020 Tour Series. These ones are pretty overstable actually. This one it's just pretty much kind of a meat hook. You can do flex lines. This is my go-to spike hyzer for a fairway driver probably. And then last up I have this Crystal Z run. It's stamped Z but it's like a crystal fly die run. Most overstable disc in my bag. Way more than that one, the 2020. I can put it on like that much ante. And if I give it the right height, not a ton of height, but like 10 feet of height, it'll flex out. So overstable. Everyone needs something like that. I've also aced with this one. Um, raptors are good. Go get a Raptor. I throw these Raptors about... <sighs> it depends what line I'm throwing. If I'm throwing a Spike Heiser, I can throw them to like 330 maybe. If I'm throwing straight to, flat to high third, they can go 360, 370 for me. Um, but yeah, the Raptor's a great disc and I would definitely go check them out. Last up, distance drivers. Let's just start out with my main distance driver, the Zeus. Carry four of them. I can throw these up to 480 um, on like a nice full S flight. Sometimes less if I don't get on one, but like if a, a consistent rip is gonna be around 480. This is my flippiest. This one, hyzer flip to turn. It's almost like a Hades. Not quite there yet though. Um, really good for rollers, everything like that. I love this disc so much. Um, and this was actually one of the first Discraft discs I ever bought when I got sponsored by Discraft. So this one also means a lot to me. Next up, I probably this guy, the purple guy. This one, if I throw it flat and hard, it'll turn a little bit and come back. This is probably my max distance right now, just because it gives me that perfect S flight. Um, and I'm really loving this one. And then these two are pretty similar, actually. I have this DGK Ghost stamp. Actually, all these are DGK stamps. I have this DGK Ghost stamp, one of one in the world and it's really swirly and beautiful. And then I have this yellow one with the DGK stamp. And both of them, if I throw them with just a touch of hyzer, they'll pop up and then hyzer back out. Um, this one used to be stable as of this morning and then I threw a spike hyzer onto concrete and now it flies like this one, so that's kind of a bummer. But both of them fly super well. Um, they could go either way. It really, like, they, there's barely a difference, but like, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know there's a difference. So sometimes I pick one over the other. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. Just realized that I skipped straight from my Raptors to my distance drivers. I have four more fairway drivers that I forgot about. So start with my roller disc, the Heat. Um, I'd actually, I'd probably throw this as an air shot more than a roller. Um, I live in North Carolina, as some of you probably know super wooded so i love hyzer flip turn lines hyzer flip to hyzer um big flat turnovers really so much you can do with this disc get out of jail um yeah and i can throw if i max flex this i can get it to over 400 feet probably it has so much glide really good disc um if you throw anything around 300 feet this will probably be like a perfect max flex for you and then I have three Undertakers. This one's gonna be my flippiest. It's a nice DGK stamp. Totally wore off. It's been in my bag since I got the DGK stamps. But this one, hyzer flip to turn, flat to turn, hyzer flip to flat. 
such a money disc. My Undertakers go around 400 feet on a on a good rip. Maybe maybe 380, 390. Um, next up is gonna be this guy, and this one is pretty similar to that, except if I throw it on hyzer, it'll flip up to flat and kind of just stay there. And then if I throw it flat, it'll turn a little bit and come back. But yeah, just a little more stable than that last one. And then last up on the Undertakers, I have this first run Z Undertaker, which is actually kind of a meat cake for an Undertaker. I can rip this as hard as I want flat, and it's gonna go straight most of the flight and then fade at the end. If I put it on Annie, it'll hold it and then pan back out at the end. Um, but yeah, this one I'm really enjoying because it's pretty beefy. So, I'm gonna jump into the backups. I'm gonna try and do that really fast um, because I know this is already a long video, so I'm not gonna say how far I can throw all these because I kinda just explained that. I'm just gonna take you through them. But first, show you some of the things in my actual bag. Got a mini marker. Um, Range Finder, another mini, shout out Eagle's Wings. Open this one today, but gotta have hand warmers if you're playing in the winter. Ibuprofen, mainly for my dad, disc golf dad, because he's getting old and he always needs them. Um, deer buds, do you have a bag tag that I haven't even used yet? I haven't even played in one for their bag tag yet. Probably should do that. Got a disc golf mask because 2020 things. And then probably the last thing I'll show you is this. I got this little retriever in a player's pack. I totally forgot which one, but I'd highly recommend getting one of these things. You can extend it so long. I'm not gonna extend it fully because it wouldn't fit in here, but I've actually saved many discs with this thing in the short time that I've had it. So yeah, we're gonna jump straight in to all the backups. I'm gonna go through these pretty fast. Two challengers, only have two back. Well, I actually have way more challengers, but they're in my basket outside. I forgot to grab them, I just realized that. But I have one jawbreaker and then one pro D. These are just throwing challengers. I don't use these at putting. All my backup putting challengers are in the basket. Um, yeah, then I have nine zones. <laughs> I have two pro Ds, which are both pretty darn similar to my jawbreakers, Austin Turner zone. So if I lose that, one of these will probably go in the bag. Then I have, what do I have? I have three ESP DGKs, brand new, never thrown any of them. Um, I have this ESP that Discraft actually sent me in my player's allotment. I have this old ESP that I got used in a used bin, and it's the most overstable one I have, actually. Might go back in the bag soon. This thing is a beefcake. Then I have this just stock ESP run from Discraft as well. And then last up, I got a 5x Z, which is actually pretty gummy. I soaked it in hot water on accident and kind of rubbed the stamp off. Um, and now it's like a little gummy. And it's not that beefy, actually. Mid-range is... I only have one Buzz SS backup at the moment. Um, yeah, only one. Probably should get more of those. I have six Buzzes, four time, stock ESP run, Big Z, Crystal, Z, and then DGK. Then I have Foundation Disc Golf Buzz OS. You can get these at foundationdisc.com. Um, that link will be in the description. And I have two Maltas. This one has a lot of glow tape on it because I just played a glow around and I had nowhere to put all my glow tape that I had on my disc, so I just put them all on this Malta. But I have two backup prototype Maltas. I haven't even tried the stock runs yet because I just know that I like the prototypes, so that's all I have at the moment. And until I lose all these, I probably won't try the stock runs. All right, Raptors. I have this Z run that I found with no name and number, but it's kind of like a crystal -y Z run. And then I have this first run Z Raptor. I have this 2020 Ledgestone Crystal Sparkle Raptor. And I have this 2019 Yuli Raptor, which flies like a heat. It's so, so understable. It doesn't fly like a Raptor at all. Kind of disappointing, but it's still there. And then I have 
two prototype onyxes. I don't bag an onyx right now actually because that first run Undertaker fits the slot, but if I'm playing a windy course or a more open course, this one will usually go in the bag because they're good discs. If you haven't tried an onyx and you can throw over 400 feet, try one, you'll love them. I only have one vulture in my whole collection of discs and it's the 2019 Austin Turner Tour Series and I bought it right before I interviewed him like over a year ago and I got him to sign it. Um, but yeah, shout out Austin Turner. That's two of his discs now that I have. Last, or not last up, but I have this Z Machete. It's the flattest disc I've ever seen in my whole life. Don't, like, that's not even a Frisbee. That's like a, just a piece of plastic. Um, I know Nolan's gonna like seeing this one, but whatever. Two Undertakers, um, both Z. This one's just a regular Z run. This one is another Foundation Disc Golf Undertaker. This one actually flies really nice. Again, go get those at foundationdiscs.com. Then I have a tracker given to me, given to me by Philip Bartholomew. Thank you, Phil. This one I actually need to put back in the bag. Don't know why I took it out. I love how this flies. Um, but yeah, if you've never seen a tracker, they're pretty overstable. And then last up, 2020 Tour Series um, Stalker, Haley King. I put this in the bag because I wanted something slower than an Undertaker. And I actually like this a lot, but I haven't found a use for it yet. So it's not in the bag at the moment, but I want to work it in. I just haven't needed it yet, but it's a great disc. This one's actually pretty overstable. I think all the 2020 runs were overstable. And some miscellaneous discs, or not, oh, this is only miscellaneous disc. I have a Thrasher, kind of backs up my pink Zeus, this one, kind of backs up that. Um, yeah, Heiser flip turns, max distance crushes, anything like that. And then my forces. I have this first run, PSP force, which flies like a Zeus. Um, this one bombs. Really overstable, Team Discraft Stamp, Z-Force. I have the TI, which run is this? I don't even remember, but it's the three-time Nate Doss run. Um, these ones are all stupid overstable. I have this Kentwood stamped Force um, ESP with Phil Bard on it. And then I have this flat top Force. Don't know why it's so flat, but Phil also gave me this one. Um, don't know if I like it yet, but just got it, so we'll see. And then I have eight Zeus's. I'm gonna run through these fast. Got two unthrown DGK Zeus's. Have the 1057 rated, um, highest rated player ever, Paul Macbeth ones. This used to be my favorite run. I might put this one back in because these are pretty stable. Got a first run Zeus. Got another first run Zeus. Got another first run Zeus. Got a really beat in DGK Zeus. And then I have a prototype Kong. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, wanted to show you guys this though. Just got this put in. Finally have all my discs organized. So this will be in the background of a lot more videos. But if you guys are new, thank you for watching. Don't know how many people actually made it through that whole video. But if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.